Hello, and welcome to this week's Book Bites video. My name is Kinsey Heisel, and I'm the Youth Services Librarian here at the Boyle County Public Library. In this week's video, I'm going to be talking to you about juvenile fiction or middle grade books that are all fairy tale retellings. So these are either inspired by fairy tales, a mashup of a bunch of different fairy tales, maybe inspired by some Disney movies as well. So we'll go through a bunch of fun stuff to read if those are the kind of things that you like, because these are all those original stories that you love told in new and different ways. These are some of my favorite kind of books to read, so I hope you enjoy them as well. Let's get started. First, I'll go over some that are directly inspired by Disney, some of the best well-known fairy tales. We have this series, which follows different Disney villains. So this one is Mother Knows Best, inspired by Tangled. There's also The Beast, Ursula, the Wicked Witch, um, the Evil Stepmother. There's a lot in this series, and they're a good size stories about the villains. So if you like villains, check out this series. An original story from Pete's Dragon, so if you like that movie, you might like this. Then we have a, an original story from the world of Frozen. So this is called A Frozen Heart. And it is more about Anna and Prince Hans. So this isn't this is not a direct like retelling of the movie. It's giving like another story that adds to that movie and that world. Similarly, we have Heart of the Moors, which is an original novel from the Maleficent movies from that world. So again, this is content you wouldn't have seen in the movie, so if you like the movie, definitely pick up the book and you'll learn even more about it and the characters. Next we have Far From Agrabah, which is an original tale set in the world of Aladdin. So again, this isn't the movie, but if you liked the movie and you like these characters, then you can see them going on a new adventure in this book. And the last that is also similar to that is Lost in a Book. So this is again an original story, this time in the world of Beauty and the Beast. We know Belle loves her library just like we all do. So if you like the characters in this movie, then be sure to pick up this book to read another, a new original story set in that world. Next, I'll talk about some series or books that take a bunch of different fairy tales and mash them up all together with a new twist. So first we have the girl who circumnavigated Fairyland in a ship of her own making. This is the first in a four or five book series about a girl who goes to Fairyland. So it's a little bit inspired by The Wizard of Oz uh, in that a girl goes to like another world and sees all of these fairy tale creatures which you might recognize. So if that's your thing, definitely pick this up. Next we have The Lost Wonderland Diaries, so this is the first in a new series that as you can tell is a bit inspired by Alice in Wonderland. So they similarly go into these stories that we know and like and you see a new side of those stories and those characters. Next, I wanted to mention the Descendants novel series. So this is actually the fourth book in the series. Isle of the Lost is the first book. And in this series, if you know Descendants, you kind of have the kids of Disney villains or relatives of the Disney villains t doing their own thing. And so these are novels from that series. Another very popular series that this is the first book. This is The Wishing Spell in the Land of Stories. In this are two main characters open up an old fairy tale book that they like and fall into the story. So you'll see characters like Little Red Riding Hood, Mother Goose, those kind of classic fairy tales. They encounter all of those characters as they go throughout this world in their race to find their way out of this world and back out of the book and back home. So this is a really great series to read if you like all of those classic fairy tales. 
in this series, The Kingdom Keepers. This is the first in a like seven or eight book series that's called The Kingdom Keepers. Our main characters are in the Disney theme park and they face off against Disney villains. So if you like Disney World, Disneyland, and the Disney characters, then you're really gonna like this series because it takes a lot of those characters that you like and sees them play out in a bunch of different new ways. Next we have a book called The Princess Curse, and this one is a combo of the 12 dancing princesses and the Beauty and the Beast. So those stories mix together to form this new book. This one is called Straw Into Gold, and they are fairy tales respun. So these are again classic fairy tales that you might be familiar with, but just respun a different way. So a bit twisted, so just different takes on those tales. So this one has a bunch of different stories in it, Hansel and Gretel, uh, Princess and Pea, Rapunzel. So definitely pick this up if you like those classic stories and want to read about them in new ways. The next set of books that I'll talk about are standalones that are directly inspired by just one fairy tale. And by standalone, I mean they are, it's just that book, they're not a part of a series. The Wolf Hour, can you guess, is inspired by Little Red Riding Hood. Breadcrumbs, which is inspired by The Snow Queen, which is a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale. Hook's Revenge, which as you might guess from the cover, is uh, inspired by Peter Pan, Captain Hook. The Mulberry Tree, which is inspired by, I believe, Hansel and Gretel. The Emperor's Ostrich, which is inspired by a more traditional fairy tale. The Lost Frost Girl, which is inspired by Jack Frost. And so those are all just the, those books, they're standalones, and so now I'll talk about some that are series. So for our first one, we have Shadows of Sherwood, which is a Robin Hoodlum adventure, which is inspired by the tale of Robin Hood. We have The Frog Prince, which is inspired by The Princess and the Frog, and this is the first in a series, and each book does a different fairy tale. Next we have Twin Enchantment, which is loosely inspired by The Princess and the Pauper. So the two people who are both uh, have pretend identities, so if you've heard of that tale, then you'll like this one. Next we have Kissed, and in this version we have a retelling of Belle and the Snow Queen, uh, and it has another story in it, so there's three in this one. Then there's also Once, which is another companion or another collection of three different fairy tale retellings. And then there's Once Again, which has two more fairy tale retellings, all by this author. So if you like fairy tales just told in a different way, then you should definitely pick these up. Next we have Grounded, The Adventures of Rapunzel, and this is the first in the series, as you can tell, inspired by Rapunzel. Then we have Jack Frost, The End Becomes the Beginning. This is actually book five in this series, and as you can tell, this one is more about Jack Frost, but there are five books in this series, all kind of inspired by winter folk tales, fairy tales, that sort of thing, so pick this series up if that's your thing. Then we have these shorter books that are the princess tales 
and each of these follows a different princess. So I know they do a bunch of different kind of princess fairy tales, uh, some you may have heard of, some you might not be familiar with, but they're um, nice shorter books if you don't want something that's too long. So definitely give these a try. They're all about different princesses. And then finally, this author writes a bunch of retold fairy tales. So this one is Little Red Riding Hood. There's also one that follows one of the dwarves from The Seven Dwarves, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. And there's one about Jack and the Beanstalk. I hope you heard about some fairy tales that you really like retold in different ways in these stories. If you want more suggestions of specific fairy tales or want a new original fantasy or fairy tale-like book, then just let me know. As always, you can email me with any questions or suggestions and I'll maybe feature you in an upcoming video, so be sure to email that to me. You can pick up all of these books at the library on your next visit or you can request them using our curbside pickup service where a librarian will pick the books that you requested, go ahead and check them out to you, bag them up, and then set them on the cart in the rotunda for you to come by and pick up really quickly so it's nice, quick, and easy. Thanks for watching this week's Book Bites video. I'll see you again next week. Bye!